For the past four decades, it's protected our shores. KITV 4's Paul Drews has details on the future of the Coast Guard Cutter Jarvis. The Coast Guard Cutter Jarvis has returned to Honolulu Harbor from its final 30-day mission. Our original mission was to try to get out into the Johnston Atoll to the exclusive economic zone out there and see whether there was anybody illegally fishing there. For the past 40 years, the Jarvis has been used to protect ocean resources, to stop illegal drugs from reaching our shores, or to make sure boaters are rescued, safely making it back to our shores. I'm going to miss the history of the boat. The Jarvis was the first of its class to be commissioned in Hawaii back in 1972. It's been harbored here ever since, but now this old ship is starting to show her age. It's just an old boat, you know. There's, we can, it's still operational, but it's just not as... If there's, if there's more to do to be operational. In fact, its final mission had to be diverted because of emergency repairs to a critical evaporator, which is used to make water for the crew. This ship already went through one modernization about 20 years ago, but now Captain Morris says it's time for a permanent upgrade. Because the gear is 40 years old, it's much of it original equipment, it tends to have more casualties. And those, more, those greater number of casualties actually uh, prevent us from remaining on scene and getting the mission done. Instead of working on this 378-foot high endurance cutter, the crew will switch to the bigger national security cutter, the Morgenthau, which is packed with the latest high-tech equipment and gear. They're able to go longer without needing fuel. They uh, are able to go longer without needing food. They have better uh, command and control capability than we do. A lot has changed since the Jarvis first went into service, including the missions Coast Guard crews focus on. After 9-11, we ended up having a greater uh, presence as far as security goes. But one thing that hasn't changed is Coast Guard efforts to keep our waters safe. And this crew says they'll take some of the Jarvis's spirit of commitment with them. The crew is really what makes the ship. And thank, you know the good part is our crew is switching boats. The whole crew is switching boats. So that's really what makes the boat. At Honolulu Harbor, Paul Drews, KITV4 News. The Jarvis will be honored and officially taken out of service at Honolulu Harbor on October 2nd. The crew will then sail to California and transfer to the Morgenthau to be based in Hawaii.